Wolf Ties Sound Shop. Insights and analysis from one of the leading law firms in Central, Eastern, and Southeastern Europe. What do the children of lawyers dream to be when they grow up? And what is it like juggling homeschool and home office? In this episode of the Wolf Ties Sound Shot, Sylvia Fessel and Clement Radosavljevich answer questions from the Sound Shot community on being working parents in the legal industry. Together, they explore how children and client work go hand in hand and what it takes to balance the two. Sylvia is co-head of our public procurement team in Vienna and the mother of two children. Also raising two kids, Clemen is a partner of our corporate, competition and antitrust, and project teams in Ljubljana. Lastly, thanks to all that submitted questions. Here are Sylvia and Clemen to answer them. Hello, Clemen. Hi. So just to say something about our families or our situation, maybe we should start. How many children do you have? I have two children. Uh, a girl, four-year-old, and a boy, seven-year-old. The girl still goes to kindergarten, and the boy is already, already goes to the second grade of uh, of school. And you? Same here. So completely same. <laughs> so yes. What does a normal day, week look like? Look like for you, work, client work, and family time. How do you combine it? Yes, I mean <clears throat> you have to be. I would say you have to be very well organized. When organizing your day, yeah, I do plan. I do plan my days and also my week ahead. But uh, maybe, maybe in a in a nutshell, uh, um, I, I spend most of my time with children in the morning. Uh, we we wake up together. We have breakfast at home. With my wife, we divide a bit the responsibilities when it comes to children. So uh, it's my responsibility to take them to school in kindergarten. When I deliver each of them safely to school in kindergarten, then then I go to work. So that's the that's the, basically the morning time. And then again, due to the nature of my work, I come back in the evening where again we spend some time, play some games, then we have a dinner, uh, and then we prepare and go to sleep. And how about you? I mean, it's a bit different, but not a lot. So in the morning, my husband takes the children to school and kindergarten, of course, same time. So they have to be there at eight o'clock and I go to the office. And but in the afternoon, I pick up my children at latest four or the babysitter does. It depends on on meetings or whatever was uh, combined up front. And I take them to bed in the evening actually my husband comes home late but he helps a lot he's uh, self-employed uh, so he can uh, freely pick his time so that that's very helpful so but most of the time I also have a babysitter I have to admit mm -hmm. so also in regard to to meetings uh, it's very important I think to have a babysitter because not everything can be done by my husband or by me so how's it with you? Yeah, I agree. I think it's important to have people around you who can help you with children. Um, similarly to your husband, my wife is uh, also a bit more flexible with her work time. So she's the one who picks them up from uh, school and kindergarten. And I fully agree when, when there's a firm, firm meeting or event from work, you need to have someone who can, uh, who can take over either being your spouse or, uh, as you mentioned, you use a babysitter. Uh, I use, we use sometimes uh, grandparents as well. I think it's, you do have to have it uh, organized in such a way. Otherwise, it's, uh, it's more difficult to, to, to do both at the same time. I think so too. How spontaneous can you be? Yes. <laughs> so if there's a meeting scheduled just in short notice. Exactly. I mean, and the same, I would say, uh, when, when there's a specific event or let's say a networking event to which you need to attend to, so these are usually before the pandemic and hopefully it resumes whole day events. They might involve also travel. And uh, I think there are some, but, but rare opportunities where you would be able to take your children with you and at the same time have a uh, long day, a successful uh, networking. What do you think? So, I mean, these kind of events, uh, they are scheduled quite a time before, so I can organize myself, of course. So I, either my husband takes care of the children or my babysitter. Um, but actually, I like these kind of events because it's like 
kids' free time. So <laughs> I try to attend these events, of course. I think also, of course, it's also very important for me, but it's more complicated for me to be spontaneous. You know, you know, like if the client asks me for, a, I don't know, event on short notice, this is more difficult for me. I mean, although my husband is self-employed, which makes it a bit easier, I think, but still um, he needs to have time. So sometimes it works out good. Sometimes it, it does work. So I can't attend all kind of events. So yeah. That's... yeah, I think I think with, of course, all the obvious drawbacks of, of the current pandemic, there is one thing that working from home uh, became, became a bit more common. And, and this also comes when it comes to events. They're also organized remotely, so um, it sometimes may be a bit easier to uh, distribute time between children, uh, family, and, and, and an event because you could divide time in a day to manage an event and also spend time with, with children, at, uh, let's say, in the breaks or, or, or at the end of the event. So this made it, made it a bit more, more flexible in a way. That's right, but you still need a room which you can lock. So, because if you don't, uh, the kids uh, step into your room, which I had during a very important meeting, and she waved to the audience or to the, the clients. Um, it was very funny. So, you need a lock. That's very important. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I also I also had a funny event. Um, we we had a very tough uh, negotiation of a contract. And of course, uh, the children are all, all, all over the place. And uh, my, my daughter, and it was really the, the how shall I say, the, the, the toughest moment of the negotiations. People were getting really nervous. They were preparing to scream at each other and so on. And then my daughter started in the background, uh, she started singing a song from her kindergarten. And then everybody, everybody's like, oh, so nice. What is this? It was a child singing a song. And everybody somehow relaxed. And then things went on uh, much better. So, you know, she accidentally helped soften the situation. I think that's that's a very funny story. And uh, so the pandemic has something positive also. Yes, yes, uh, at, least in this, at least in this respect. In this respect, yeah. of course, yes. So uh, to sum up what we said, so how do we manage to network and go to events and what helps us most to balance job and family? I think it's the organization. For me, very important is my babysitter and of course my husband. If you have grandparents, it's helpful too. I depend on my babysitter and my husband indeed. And I think that's the only reason for me uh, to balance all this. I don't know how it's for you. I mean, as, as you said, the, the key is organization and um, the, more, the more help uh, you can get and the better you get organized, the easier it is, at least for me, to balance uh, my job and my family. And of course, the more understanding and flexibility there is also um, uh, from from the client side that also sometimes uh, sometimes helps yeah especially now i think uh, people are working from home remotely i think it's uh, also from the perspective of a, of a um, relationship with the client it's not completely unacceptable that there's some child chatting in the background or I don't, I don't know home noises and stuff like that because everybody's in the same situation everybody's working from home and and then it, it it makes it a bit easier i would say yes i think it got easier too i think before the pandemic it was quite difficult um and i can remember i didn't often speak about my family. It's like if I had to leave in the afternoon uh, towards the clients, of course, because from wide it's clearly understood that I have to leave, but towards the, the client, I don't have a family. I am just leaving uh, for another appointment or I'm having a meeting or whatever. So uh, family is, is not the reason to leave the firm or not to have an appointment. So it's always because of another appointment. So I think this changed because you couldn't hide your family. Your family was on the phone too, or it was in the, in the back. You could hear your family. So you can't say, no, I don't know. It must be the neighbor's child. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, I, and also re, I received some laughs when, when I was on the phone and my, one of my children or my, my children had a fight or whatever and was screaming and I excused myself. I, I was really, I'm so sorry that you have to listen to this. And it was, no, don't worry. The client, he was very, you know, 
it's like I noticed I have two children as well. So everyone, the understanding, I think it changed due to the pandemic and due to the situation. Yes, I agree. I mean, I think there's uh, there's more uh, more understanding of of uh, the role of the parents and that uh, people who do have children also can and do perform time consuming jobs, demanding jobs. And as you said, the children somehow actively appear in the picture with their voices in the background or their appearances on the cameras. And uh, that makes everybody realize that uh, they, 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 they do exist, you know, and then people just have to have to take this also uh, also into account when, when, when communicating, certainly. Yes, it, it, it's like lawyers are also human. So. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> they also have family. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, which piece of advice would you give to other working parents in the legal industry? If I would give an advice to other working parents in the legal industry, I think, I think whoever is already working in the legal industry, they know this very well. But maybe just to, just to repeat, yeah, um, I think... The key is to be very well organized, both at work and at home. Anyways, the legal work requires from you to be very well organized. You have a lot of events that happen on schedule. The client's demands are um, high it's also, and especially as, as to timing. So you need to be very, very well organized in this respect. But on the other hand, uh, same goes with family. Otherwise, you cannot fit in your family life in the same in the same day or let's say in the same uh, framework because it simply otherwise it simply overlaps and if it overlaps you need to forego one or another which either you can't or or uh, most likely also not willing to so i would say the key is organization you need to avoid the overlaps you need to know exactly when's the family time when's the when's the work time and of course uh, uh, manage to stuff everything into uh, every single given day what do you think? That's right. That's right. Yes, I agree. So maybe one more thing. I think you have to be very flexible. So um, everything can happen. So it's very important to be very flexible. And I also think you have to have a team or someone who supports you within the firm, you know, who can take over is if, if necessary. So I think this is also very helpful if possible, of course. So, and I'm, I'm very lucky. I have a great team, a great support also in the firm. So, which makes things easier for me. Yeah, I certainly, I certainly agree. This flexibility, of course, um, it's it's obvious that the, the least of flexibility is, is expected on the client side. So you need to seek for flexibility either in your uh, your family time, which we already discussed, but also at your work time. And I have to agree with you. Um, I also have great support in my team members uh, at work, um, and I think also also the actual um, flexibility. Which is uh, which is part of our uh, work life here at Wolfties already before the COVID pandemics, where um, where uh, also work from home was possible and so on, uh, also helps greatly. Yes, of course. I think uh, Wolfties does a great job, as you said also before the pandemic. So we have different types of contracts, part-time contracts, and we also have um, home office. We all, we always had home office, which is not. Uh, in every law firm um, like this. So, and we have this great maternity policy, which I really like. So it's, if you are a self-employed person, um, it's very hard. Uh, so Wolf Ties has this maternity policy, policy. It's very similar to em, to an employed person. And I think that's something that's an, that's remarkable for law office. Yeah, that is truly great. And I think I think what also helps is obviously our, our Wolf Ties being technologically quite advanced compared to certain other law firms. We do have the whole the whole IT framework and the whole support which enables us uh, to and enabled us to work remotely already for um, a long time before pandemic and right. also now in the time of pandemic. I, I know that uh, I know some people, not necessarily also law, only law firms, but also from other companies which do have difficulties uh, in this respect. But uh, uh, when it comes to when it comes to us, there was uh, absolutely no problem. The transition from from work to home and back is absolutely smooth. 
Right. Yeah, I agree. I fully agree. And maybe uh, just in addition, when I started at Wolf Ties, it was in 2014, I think. Uh, I had the agreement with Wolf Ties to work only four days in the firm and one day home office. So every Friday was my home office day. So that was completely natural. So uh, now everyone has home office. So it was, yeah. So I already have it for years now. And I like it. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so, summing up, if you go to the past, is there anything you would have done or you would do differently now? No, definitely not. I mean, I think, <clears throat> I think, I think, um, um, I like, I like how the things are. I wouldn't make any changes. And I think um, if, if if I would feel that uh, something needs to adjust, I think there's a enough flexibility and also um, I already have experience how to organize my day, my week, even a month to see how to work through possible, let's say, clashes between family life and, and, and uh, work life and expectations on one and on the other side. And you? Right. Yeah. No, I think I would have done it the same way. Yes. I'm very happy to be here. Um, it was Sometime it was very hard. My my son was born in 2013. I had worked for another law firm, which was more difficult for me. Mm. So, but since I'm here, I'm happy. So it works out great. So no. Great, no. great. Sounds great. <laughs> and um, considering you already have uh, quite substantial experience, what would you? Is there any advice you would give to younger lawyers or associates who are? thinking of having a family or thinking of working in, 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 in such an environment or both, of course. The advice I would give is not to think so much about having children and being a lawyer. Just be a lawyer and let it happen. So uh, just do what makes you happy. So I think that's the that's a very important advice because having children is something you can't plan. I mean, you can have you can plan have a, to have a child, but living with a child is nothing you can plan. You know, so you have to adjust your life in. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so it doesn't matter if you are a lawyer or whatever. So I think the most important thing is to do what you like. And if you like to be a lawyer, then be a lawyer and it will work out fine. Really, it will. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, I think it's uh, it's also important to say that, um, uh, that both is possible at the same time. Um, of course, there are some compromises, but there's generally no thing in life where there wouldn't be a compromise needed um, so it's like it's like anything else uh, and as I already said if, if it's all comes to the good organization and also support you have uh, within and from the firm uh, as well as in, in your family right I think that's that's really the most important thing the support but in any case you will it will work out you will make it I think it's so it's nothing you should be afraid of. So I think that's, that's, that has to be said. Going back, um, how was the parental uh, leave for you? Did you spend some time after giving, after your wife gave birth to your first child or second child with your children at home, like two months, three months, half a year? Yes, I did. I did take some time. I, I took, uh, I took the, um, uh, Two weeks with birth oh, two of weeks. each of my children. Yes, two weeks after the birth of each of my ch child. That's uh, <clears throat> that is that was at the time the um, uh, legally legally prescribed uh, period which which you could you could take, of course. And uh, I think it was great. I think it's very important to spend the first two weeks uh, with the child, also also offer to support to the wife. When it comes to when it comes to let's say longer um, longer parental leave. Uh, the legislation changed at some point, so there's uh, there was a bit uh, more flexibility in this respect later. But me personally, I took two weeks or let's say 15 days plus some extra vacation to later point uh, in this respect to spend more time with my children when they're the smallest. Mm, do you think it's it's more difficult for men? I, I would say I would say the expectation of of society is still probably that, that it is a woman or a wife who should spend more 
time uh, in this respect than men. But I think things are quickly changing. I think also the legislation uh, supports supports men going on parental leave more and more. And I would say also the general perception of, of men being on parental leave has changed positively to the to the effect that that it's it's not only acceptable but also desirable uh, also to offer support support to the to the to the mother and uh, to actually really spend more time with the child when the child is really small mm. i think it's it's a great opportunity for also for fathers to spend us time with their children, especially in the beginning, uh, which is the bonding time. What I can say as for a woman, um, I only spent six months with my children, with both of them. So after six months, I came back to the office because I think I'm still a lawyer. Uh, I have clients. I can't I want to keep my clients, of course. So I can't stay at home for three years, which I could from the legal point of view. Yeah. I I think in our, our legal profession, a lot of things happen in this time. So of course it might be difficult coming, having a break of, of an entire year, coming back, uh, realizing that the clients uh, have, might have moved on yeah, or, or um, that, that too many things have changed. Okay. So um, having this said, do you, do you, uh, your children, do they want to become lawyers? <laughs> I. I don't think so. I mean, <laughs> they really like, to be honest, they really like, uh, they really like the office stuff. I think it's, uh, they would, uh, they would find themselves important if they could just type on the computer, maybe just shred some papers or just lift the papers and move them around, pick up some phone calls. So they like this aspect. It, uh, it looks cool to them when, when they see me doing that, but, uh, I think they haven't, they haven't really thought of that, uh, into, into much, into much detail, to be honest. How about yours? Well, my children, um, I, th I think, I mean, my son always asked me, what is a lawyer, mommy? So I tried to explain to him what a lawyer does. And then he says, no, I want to become a teacher because he loves his teacher, which is great, I think. Uh, and my daughter, um, she wants to become a unicorn. So maybe this is going to change. Hopefully it's going to That's change. It's a great profession. A yeah, I think so too. So it's <laughs> magic. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Clement, thank you very much for this uh, thank discussion. Thank you, Sylvia, for this, this talk. talk. So, hope to see you soon. Hope to see you soon. In person. Yes, exactly. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for this episode of the Wolf Ties Soundshot. For more information, you can contact us via email at soundshot at wolfties.com or visit our website at www.wolftice.com. You can also follow us here to receive further updates on developments in law and business from one of the leading law firms in Central, Eastern and Southeastern Europe.